I'm uh, Oliver Wiseman. I'm a consultant andrologist and I specialise in the treatment of male fertility problems at Bornhall. Sperm is produced within the testicles. The testicles have only got two jobs. Uh, one is to make sperm and the second is to make the male hormone testosterone. So there are a wide range of things which men can do to try and improve their sperm count themselves. But it's also important that they are assessed if they have a low sperm count by a specialist to make sure there's nothing more serious and nothing operatively, so surgically, that we could do to improve the sperm count. If we find no sperm in the ejaculate, then what we need to do is try and work out whether the problem is one of there being a blockage, such as, for instance, a man who's had a vasectomy before, or a patient who has cystic fibrosis, or whether the problem is a problem of production, uh, but more commonly there can be a structural abnormality actually within the scrotum. And one of the commonest things which we would see is a big dilated bag of veins around the testicle and can be present in up to 40% of men who have fertility problems. And that's called a varicocele. And we know that repair of the varicocele can, over time, then lead to an improvement in the sperm count. If the problem is one of obstruction, then we can either try and repair the obstruction, or we can almost always get sperm directly from the testicle or from the epididymis, which is a small, uh, section of tubing which runs from the testicle to the vas tube and we can suck some sperm out of the testicle and that procedure is called PESA, P-E-S-A, and for percutaneous which means through the skin, epididymal sperm aspiration. Chances of finding sperm in a patient who has a blockage are almost 100%. The cystic fibrosis would be one condition uh, where we see problems with fertility and in that particular condition there would be a zero sperm count. Patients who have cystic fibrosis uh, have um, an absence of the vas tube, which is the tube that normally carries sperm from the testicle into the water pipe. Uh, although the sperm are unable to get into the ejaculate, the sperm are still being made by the testicle. So those sperm can be retrieved surgically from the testicle um, and then used for IVF with ICSI. And ICSI is a process whereby individual sperm are injected into individual eggs. And ICSI is a process which is used for almost all patients where there's a male factor uh, for their uh, fertility. In all patients who, where we think there is a problem with sperm production, we would do these genetic tests, but in most patients we don't find a reason. Where there's a problem with production of sperm, there are still sometimes some small areas within the testicle where sperm are being made. And we can do an operation to try and look for those areas under the microscope. And that operation is called microsurgical testicular sperm extraction. And we very carefully open the testicle up when the patient's under general anaesthetic. We'll then carefully dissect through the testicle and try and look for these areas where sperm are being made. In 50% of patients where there's a problem with production of sperm, nothing in the ejaculate, we will find some sperm which can be used for treatment. The best part of the job is finding sperm in where there is no sperm present in the ejaculate and giving the couple a chance to proceed through uh, IVF and ICSI. And obviously the best result is uh, you know to see the couple back in the clinic down the line uh, with a baby which is absolutely fantastic